So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to bleach knots and this is really an easy process the way that I do this and the first thing you're going to need is a spoon you can use a spoon from your kitchen you'll need a whisk and you'll also need a cake icing spreader these are optional tools but I honestly feel like it's really really easy with these tools you will also need some lightning powder and some developer I like to use 30 because 40 goes too fast and 20 goes too slow. The wig we're going to be using today, I'm also doing a tutorial for you guys to show how to, you know, melt the lace and do baby hair and everything. That's going to be my very next video. So the first thing you want to do before you start bleaching the knots, you want to get some holding spray of your choice and a thin tooth comb. And then you're going to spray the holding spray on the hairline of the wig or the frontal or whatever you're going to be bleaching. You want to spray that around the hairline and then comb everything all the way back. Once you get that done, I honestly really don't measure the bleaching powder. I just like to eye it out and just pour as I need the developer and stir as I go. So in this video, I put two cups of the powder, but as I'm pouring the developer, I'm just stirring it until it gets to the consistency that I need it to be which is going to look something like this. Like you don't want it to be cakey, crumbly, or too watery. You want it to be just like this, almost just like cake icing. I like to use the back of a spoon, the spoon that I showed you guys earlier. I like to use the back of it because I just feel like it allows the product to go so smoothly on the back of the lace and it gets on the knots perfectly without getting all in the hair, bleeding through the lace. Like it just goes on super smooth. I used to use a butter knife, but since a butter knife is completely straight. It's kind of hard to get in the creases and in certain areas of the wig. So I just like to use a spoon since it's curved and it just spreads on almost the same as a butter knife, if not better. And as you can see, none of the bleach got on the hair all over. Like it's just a clean transaction. And you can see that the knots are still dark. And what you want to do is just go ahead and sit this to the side and allow it to process. When you are bleaching knots, there is honestly not a time frame on it. Like it's not going to be directly 30 minutes, directly 20 minutes. Like what you want to do is just pay attention to how the product is lifting the color of the hair. So if you see it turning blonde, you can go ahead and rinse it off and then start the toning process. If you see that 25 minutes have gone by and the knots still look dark, you want to leave it on and just watch it for 10 more minutes or so. But once you rinse it off, it's going to look like this. And this is what you don't want because this is extremely brassy. Brassy means that it's like this orangey yellowish look. 
and what you want to do is go in with some toner i like to use the toner shampoo which is called shimmer lights they have other brands as well and they all do the same thing but this one is just easy to find you can find this anywhere and what you want to do is just put this on the lace put it on the hair and just work it in like you see me doing and you can do this about two times and you'll be completely good And like I said, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys, which is this video that you see next. And just stay tuned for that because this is what your results look like when you have bleached your knots completely right and perfectly.